Hi there, Atheist Paladin. This is a video response to your video, which is, which is in, in itself a video response to Jason King's video, which is called a rational response. Yes, there's a lot of responses here. Anyway, let me get straight to the point, because um, it feels like when when I was when we are talking on the text responses, I feel like we are talking across each other and not and not actually to each other. Let me get straight to the point. The issue that, that I'm having here is with the phrase Theism is a mind disorder. I just have a problem with that. Because this phrase implies that every single theist out there on every single corner of this earth has, has a mind disorder. But well, that is simply not true. If I have to summarize what you said, I think what you're saying is, saying is that um, a theist is actively believing in something in the face of evidence. They close their eyes and shut themselves off from reason. That, in my opinion, is a false analysis. Because your conclusion is based on a lot of false premises. Let me use Christianity as an example here. What you're basically saying is that every single Christian out there has read the entire Bible. Every single Christian out there is aware of the contradiction in the Bible. Every single Christian out there has seen the evidence against the Bible, but choose to actively reject, reject the evidence. That is just not true. Most theists I know, or no, most Christians I know in real life, don't know jack shit about the Bible. Most Christians I know don't know about the atrocities mentioned in Leviticus and Deuteronomy. They go like, uh, we cannot eat shellfish? Huh? Uh, we can keep slaves? Huh? I mean, and even if they know about these verses, they interpret it differently. They rationalize it. Does this mean that they are suffering from a mental illness? No, of course not. This only means that they use a different kind of logic and they, they accept different premises than we do. You talked about evolution, right? Well, macroevolution doesn't exist. It never happened. It was never observed. A cat has never given birth to a dog. This, look, these are all faulty, reason, faulty reasoning here. But the fact they, that if I accept this reasoning, doesn't mean that I'm crazy, doesn't mean that I suffer from a, from a mind disorder. It just means that I accept different premises and that I use different kind of logic. In my text response to your video, I used the analogy of the tooth fairy. I did that on purpose, by the way, because I was trying to make a point. The point I'm, I was trying to make is that the existence of the tooth fairy can be inferred using real-life evidence, namely the coin that I find under my pillow when I wake up in the morning. If I accept the existence of the tooth fairy using this evidence, this only means that I am that I am accepting faulty evidence and faulty logic. But does this mean that I suffer from a mind disorder? No, of course mm. not. And you brought up like hurting people, but um, hurting people. In the, but I did deliberately use the analogy of the tooth fairy to sidestep that. To sidestep that, I could have easily used used uh, Buddhism, Confucianism, or Taoism as my as my as my example. Because have they hurt anyone? No, of course not. But by your definition, by the by the phrase theism is a mind disorder. That means that those people also suffer from a mind disorder, even though that they have never hurt anyone ever. So, you using a religion, hurting people to make a claim, is faulty. That is not the point here. That is just not the point here. The point is that theists believe in God with ample evidence, with a lot of evidence, but the evidence might be faulty. Might, might not be acceptable by us, but that doesn't mean that they are suffering from a mind disorder. Come on, man. And if I read the comment, the comment that you made on Jason King's video, you said that they never accept any evidence that is against the position, nor ever answer any question for evidence for the position. That is just simply not true. Like I said, some has never ever seen the evidence in the first place, and most other just rationalize the evidence. Why is the Big Bang Theory a big baloney? Well, an explosion from nothingness just doesn't make sense. Look, this is a faulty reasoning, 
but the fact that they accept this reasoning doesn't mean that they that, that they are suffering from a mind disorder. Atheists, we atheists, all atheists out there, we do ourselves a great favor to realize this. For atheists, they believe in their God with a lot of evidence, with a lot of reason. The claim that, that atheists on YouTube like to make is that atheists believe in God without evidence. That is just not true. That is a faulty. That is a false analysis. Anyways, this was my video. I hope you can get back to me and thank you for watching my video.